folks, Sam Owens here with a nice product, uh, uh, pots and pans. They're a 16 piece set here. And the unique thing about it is uh, it has a detachable handle. Uh, you get two handles and uh, you're able to remove the handles and use the pots uh, to, to uh, have at the table with the food you prepared or put it in the refrigerator. It has tops. It has storage tops also. And uh, let's open it up and see. It's from the fine people at Roy Dex. That's R-O-Y-D-X. And I am really impressed with uh, what I've seen. I've already opened it up and I've taken it out of all of the little cardboard uh, supports and all of that little plastic and put it back in so that we can show you just what you get. Okay, right here on top, I'm going to take these out. You get three of these little uh, protectors for the table that you can set the pots on. Three of them, just like this. So that's nice uh, to have. And we'll put that over there. Okay, right here, I'm going to show you this stackable feature of this right there and we have this right here and we have the uh, top and there's some more tops in here uh, let me get them all out this is for the big one right here and and right here now there is a a safety quality to this that it's a two-step handle it uh, one action can't release uh, the pot you know you might be fearful of oh geez if i hit the button wrong i could drop the pot well it takes two actions to uh, uh to release the pot so uh, we'll show that you're also in the upper right you're going to see information posted it's going to help explain some of the details so pause at any time and read it <clears throat> so you get two handles right here, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use them. <clears throat> you get these plastic lids, which are storage lids for putting in the refrigerator, or you're going to take them to an outing, because these can be like bowls. Uh, let's see, this is a, a steamer. Uh, you can put this on a larger pot right here if there is a steamer okay and uh, you have this right here once you've steamed the vegetables <clears throat> you got these plastic lids they're not to cook with but it's to cover and then they're stackable because they're recessed here or you can put things in there uh, that accommodate uh, that uh, uh, dish so it's real nice for that. So you get that, and then you get a skillet. Right here is a nice saute skillet, and it's got nice, smooth, sloping edges. Uh, so that is nice. You also get uh, a lid for the, each pot has its own lid. And there's a cutout on the uh, top of the lid, and this is a plastic right here. Not plastic, it's, it's, a, it's a hard rubber that's flexible, and it gives you a great seal. And this one fits right in there. Let's see if that's it. I'm sorry, it's that one. And I push that one in there. Okay, this is the smaller one right here. Okay, this is the cutout for the handle. So when the handle is on there, this allows it to uh, fit in that area. So that's a nice feature right there. And plus, uh, you could pour, uh, depending on how hot it is, uh, you could use it to pour thing, uh, you know, uh, fluids out. Okay, now you also, each pot, uh, has a, uh, a sealable lid. This is the plastic, just like uh, this one. Okay, and they will fit in each other, and this one has its own 
little sealing lid. And again, these are uh, plastic and not for uh, cooking, only for putting in the refrigerator. You can put these in the refrigerator. Uh, you can store them like this. Uh, it's really nice. And then you have this right here, which actually, these are the three, and here's the three pots. I don't think I tried this, but this goes on there. That's the lid. This goes here. That's the lid for this one. So there's the three lids, ceiling lids. And there you go. Okay, now let's show uh, how to attach uh, the handle. Let's try our little uh, smallest pot. And you notice uh, in here, each one has some measurement lines there. That's uh, one liter or one quart is right there. And a half a quart is there. There's lines in there that show that. That's nice to have. You don't have to have a measuring cup. You just pour it in. Now, the way this works is you push it that way, one click to a 45 degree, and then you have two little ears. They both have to be pressed at the same time. Just take your thumb and forefinger, and then it releases it out. That's the second latch. So then this allows you to attach it at any point. Now it might be nice to have the measurements across from the handle so you can see them and not over this way. So I would say that's a good way to do it. You put this over here, you pull it back, and then you pull again. And so when it's really locked in position, it's back this way. Even if you click these handles, it's not going to release until this is released. I'm going to hold it like this, and let's say you click it like that. It is not going to fall until you grasp and there. You, really, you have to kind of put some pressure on them. They have to actually release. You don't want it to release real easy. You want it to have to put a definitive uh, pressure on this to release it. And you saw that. Let me do it one more time to show. You put this across there, pull it to that point, and then pull it one more. To release the pot, click it that way, and then I'm gonna grab this and use both, and it does. We're gonna do a cooking um, demonstration uh, here in just a moment, and uh, I'm gonna use this and the pot uh, to, to uh, prepare a Spanish bean soup recipe. Folks, uh, I really need to show uh, how compact this 16 set cookware, pot cookware can uh, store. Uh, if you have uh, a RV camper and uh, you need all the space you can get, this would be an excellent choice uh, to tuck away it, and you can store it all in this little package right here. Okay, folks, we're gonna start the uh, Spanish bean soup. The first thing I need to do is uh, fry up the uh, sausage and uh, we're gonna put that into the skillet. Uh, we're gonna get the temperature up right uh, and then we will saute the um, onions and bell pepper. Skillet is heating up. We're gonna attach the handle right now. I put it this way, then I squeeze these two, put it on there and then squeeze back and then go all the way. And now it is right. Now I want to put a little olive oil in here. And we're gonna do the meat first because it takes a little longer than the other. And I just kind of slide it in there. And we'll come back, uh, let's see, got a little 
in there. I want you to hear the sound uh, that it makes. And the stainless steel non-stick is really fantastic. I love the way it's not sticking at all. And uh, I'm going to regulate the heat. I like to start out high and then lower it down. Uh, and, but this is going to cook an ample supply of meat for me. We're going to come back in a little bit when it's uh, getting a little uh, more along uh, cooking. Notice the color. It's getting good. Uh, the temperature is just perfect. Um, it's cooking very nicely. Um, I like uh, the way the heat holds in there. This is the color you want it to look. And now I'm ready to transfer it over uh, to a little storage bowl. And I'm going to just kind of put it in there. And then I'll uh, do the onions and bell pepper uh, at this point and see how I know it's going to do excellent. gonna be good. Break this in and get it going. You want to saute the vegetables and have them in the oil and uh, really fry up good. Now I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. I don't want them to, uh, I don't want them to actually brown. I want them to saute. Okay, uh, if you'll notice all of the uh, stuff that was on the bottom was from the meat and as I put the vegetables in all of that was transferred uh, to the vegetables and uh, here really wonderful uh, cookware okay I've got the meat uh, and uh, the uh, veggies in the skillet or the uh, pot and now I'm going to put uh, two cans of the gabonza beans in. That's the key ingredient in Spanish bean soup. Gabonza bean. Uh, another name is chickpeas. Okay and you put all the fluid in there. These beans are already cooked. You can get dried beans. This is the quick way of uh, preparing the soup. Okay, perfect. All right, now I'm going to turn the heat up and get it to a boiling uh, situation. And uh, now I'm going to let this go. I'm going to put the lid on and it will actually steam through and it has a steam hole over uh, here. Oh, that's good. It came to a real quick boil really fast. So that means that the construction of the pot is very good for uh, distributing heat quickly. Folks, uh, I didn't mention, I uh, forgot, uh, this is one of the key ingredients in Spanish bean soup, uh, sazon, and uh, it's uh, saffron. And uh, it comes just like this, two packs. But I'm only going to use one pack, that's all I need right here. And uh, usually you'll put it in right at the beginning, but it won't hurt uh, in that I missed putting it in at the beginning. Uh, actually, two is even better. Now here's the potatoes and I'm going to get this down a little bit. And uh, you don't want to go too much longer on the potatoes. That's why you delay. The potatoes don't take that much, maybe 15 minutes or so. And uh, you, you want, don't want them mushy. Is now turn it up a little bit and place a little water in there and I'm going to put the handle on because we're going to need it 
and I click that, click that, then I click this, pull it one, pull it two, and now I've got it uh, where I can kind of control it, and you can see it bubbling. I'm going to turn her down, and I'm going to put it for about 15 minutes. Uh, my bean soup, that's the notice that uh, is complete. And uh, it's looking very good. And I'm sure that uh, it's going to taste as good as it looks. I wish you could try it. Okay. Folks, I'm impressed with the cookware, the way I can uh, put this into a serving location on the table, uh, on one of the divots uh, that it comes with, and uh, just take this off, and it's a nice serving dish. It's absolutely fantastic, and uh, I think I pointed out all of the features that make this a very good selection uh, for your cookware and uh, your application. It'll cover a lot. So I want to thank you very much for watching my video.